Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emergency Beacon, and today I want to just talk to you a little bit about why, you know, why certain satellite communicators, um, you know, if you have the Phoenix 7X, do you really need the Mini 2? Before we get into all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Well, somebody had left a question for me on the YouTube channel yesterday, or I think two days ago. And they had watched my recent video on the Garmin Phoenix 7X navigation. And they were asking the question of, if I, if I have the Phoenix 7X, can I just go with the Garmin Messenger instead of the Mini 2? And it was kind of interesting because I was, I had woke up about, all about two in the morning to let my dog out. And I just checked my computer and saw this comment. Well, it kept me up for at least a half hour, if not more like an hour, because I really started thinking about this question. The bottom line for, for anybody is if you have a way to navigate, then you don't need the Mini 2 or you know the GPS Map 66i. The Garmin Messenger is fine because the Garmin Messenger, what it does for you, the most important thing, is that you can call SOS and get help in life-threatening situations, and then you can two-way message, and that could be for just convenience of, hey, meet me up here, I found a great campsite, or I'm in trouble, it's not life-threatening, but I need some help. And that's happened to me and uh, some of my hiking parties a few times. But I really started to look at it, and my answer was basically like I already said, if you can navigate another way, whether it's an, a hiking app or some other device, but you can't communicate, then I would say go ahead and get the Garmin Messenger. It's way more important to be able to get search and rescue and to uh, two-way message. You, know, you can always carry a physical map with you and you can download maps ahead of time on most every app, all these hiking apps. But this really got me thinking on the bigger picture here, the bigger scheme of things in life of if I were doing this all over again, and I've been you know, testing these and, and reviewing these satellite communicators for about three and a half years now, a little over that, and if I were doing it all over again, what would I do? Because I've got the Phoenix 7X right here, Sapphire Solar. I've got the GPS Map 66i. I've got the Mini 2. I've got the Explorer Plus. I mean, you name it, I've got, I may not have them all yet, but I've got the ACR Bivy Stick, Summer Global Hotspot, Zolio, Spot, Spot X, Spot Gen 4, just Spot Gen 3. So I have a lot. And I was going back and I was thinking about it. And it really depends, the answer to this really depends on your financial situation as, as one of the things. And then how you use your satellite communicator. So first of all, if you don't have a lot of money, as I did when I first started reviewing these, then go with something inexpensive. And, and the most important thing is to go with something something inexpensive that can get you SOS and two-way messaging. So those two devices are really the Spot Gen 4 and the Garmin Messenger. Now, I'd have to double check the prices here, but you know, some of these, like the ACR Bivy Stick, some are Global Hotspot and Zolio. I'm gonna have prices up on the screen here. Those tend, I think, to run a little more expensive than the, than the Spot Gen 4 and the Garmin Messenger. But the bottom line is, maybe you can find something on sale or you found it used. Get something on your pack and make it be SOS and two-way messaging first. The navigation is just secondary. The, the weather is secondary. So do that if you don't have a lot of money. If you have some money and then you're thinking about other devices, this is where it gets a little more complicated. But remember, it all comes down to your personal choice, what your preferences are, your prior priorities, how you use your satellite messenger or communicator. What kind of adventures do you go on? That all plays into it. And there's not one perfect satellite communicator for everybody. If you have a lot of money or a decent amount of money, you know, go ahead and I would say go look at the GPS Map 66i, the Mini 2. There's others also. Those are my two favorites. But don't forget the ACR Bivy Stick is very strong. Now, the ACR Bivy Stick, you basically have to have it synced with your phone versus the Mini 2. You can do a lot all by itself as a standalone device. You still can't see maps, but you can see routes, 
trails, you can track back, but the ACR Baby Stick, Zolio, and Somewhere Global Hotspot, they're dumb devices unless you sync them. But you have a lot of options, and again, I would just look at how you use your device and what kind of adventures you go on. And if you have any questions, leave comments be below because I'm not gonna try to direct you to my favorites. I will do my best to direct you to what's how you use it. So for example, somebody, they were more elderly and they were just traveling around the United States and into Canada and they were doing very short hikes. They were mostly traveling and they were in and out of cell service so they wanted something for primarily to be able to communicate. And I directed them towards the Zolio and the Garmin Messenger. Both of those are probably the two best messengers as far as you know, sending two-way messages. And, and they do SOS just fine. They both have global worldwide coverage. Now, if you have a lot of money, and that money's not an object for you, then you know, then still it comes down to what's what is the best thing, and again, it's personal preference here. But since I've been testing these, I've been surprised several times at what I thought I would like and not like. First thing is, I thought this Phoenix 7X, I, I thought, man, I'm never gonna wear another watch. I have my phone with me. I don't need, I can pull my phone out and see the time. I don't need a watch. Well, when I, when I got this Phoenix 7X, I noticed right away that I love the navigation part. I love to, there's so much data that you can see on it and you can get the weather and it's, it's really a great watch. And then there's the, the competitive side of it, whether you're you know, racing, mountain biking, road biking, you know, and I guess maybe even swimming or next terrors and all that. There's that aspect to it. I don't use it for that, but I really found that I like the watch. And in fact, it, it does things like a, a lot of smart watches where it'll track how I sleep at night, my stress level. So I like it. I didn't think I would, but it's comfortable. I haven't been annoyed with having it on my wrist. And so if I were doing this all over again, I would really... I mean, this was really was bothering. I was staying up late at night. I was like, well, if I have the watch, why would I want the Mini 2 or the GPS Map 66i? Why wouldn't I just have the watch and the Garmin Messenger? Because the Messenger is a really small device. The watch is a small device. It's really convenient. And I was thinking, you know, that really it comes down to convenience for me. I like to carry a smaller device. I, I've really been impressed with the 66i. It's a little bit bigger. It has a lot more power as far as navigation goes. And there's just so many more functions on it. It has a shorter battery life, but it's very powerful. So I'm kind of you know, in between the Mini 2 being my favorite and the 66i being my favorite. But as it stands right now, if I were out on a day hike, I would take my Garmin Enrich Mini 2 and I would have my watch on, and then I would have the Mini 2 sync to my phone. Because I don't really, I don't want to use those little arrows on the side of the Mini 2 or on this device. I want to pull out my phone just like I'm texting, and I want to be able to text. I want to be able to see the weather more easily. I want to see maps. I can choose different maps, and it's got the really big screen because I've got the iPhone 14, you know, Pro Max, whatever it is, so it's the big one. And it's, it's so convenient. So that the battery will run down on that so I can keep it off but for the convenience value when I want to message somebody or I want to see a map I can pull it out turn it on or have it in battery save mode but it it really for me it's about the convenience and if I were doing it all over I really would have three things on me I would have well not three things I would have two things I would have the satellite communicator I would have my watch and then I would have it synced to my phone but everybody's different and you might find that, hey, I've got the app on my phone. All I need is the Garmin Messenger or the, you know, the Zolio or say the Spot Gen 4. The Spot Gen 4, there are people can see where you're at, but you can't see a map. But that may not be important. So I did lose about an hour's worth of sleep, but I really was struggling, not struggling, but I was really contemplating, you know, after three and a half plus years, would I do this differently? Would I give different advice? And, you know, the answer is no, because my main advice is what's important to you, what's your priority, and how do you use it, and then pick the right one for you. And then again, if you don't have a lot of money, pick the least expensive one just to get SOS and two-way messaging on your pack. If you have a lot of money, then you have other choices, and then you can go start going for a convenience. That's all there is to it. Again, I lost about an hour of sleep. I know, TMI. It's my problem. 
but I, I really, as I wrapped my brain around this thing, it really helped me to rethink and to then be able to give you guys more advice. And I would appreciate any comments that you have. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications. And again, as, as I said with the comments, not just a question, but if you have advice and thoughts about how you use it or different, you know, say, say you're using a certain type of hiking app and uh, versus, and maybe you don't need a, the messenger or you've wanted, you know, you got the spot gen four, whatever. Let me know and, and put the advice down and have, put questions down because this really helps other people who see your comments and advice or questions. And then it helps me to understand different ways to use these, which makes my reviews hopefully better in the future. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.